Schelling in the South, and I'm joined here in the studio by Noam Bedin from the Stero Media Center. Noam, thanks for coming in. Okay. You were down South today uh, after the Schellings overnight that came uh, before dawn this morning. How would you describe the mood in light of these uh, most recent attacks? Well, definitely to say overall there's been over one million Israelis running for shelter since this past night. Overall, this is a daily routine life of the past couple of years, having one million Israelis being under Iranian missile threat from Gaza itself. Obviously, there's a lot of fear, anxiety. When you have 15 seconds to 45 seconds to run free life, this is the reality on a daily basis. And especially in the middle of the night at 3 o'clock in the morning here. Definitely. And the question is, what can you possibly do in those 15 seconds or 20 seconds coming from the vote? That's a question that does not really get covered especially through the daily news broadcasts on a daily basis. We had some uh, rocket activity in the last uh, few days and weeks coming out of Gaza. The Israeli Air Force responded, killed six terrorists. Um, was this to be expected that the terrorists again would try to then respond to the, IA, uh, the Israeli Air Force attacks? This is part of the routine in our region itself. Once you have terrorists being targeted in Gaza, Hamas-controlled Gaza, we should be expecting incoming rockets itself. We're forgetting how Literally today, there over 1,637 rockets, missiles, mortars being fired from Gaza towards Israel since the end of Operation Castle. Now, it has decreased somewhat from the, the period of that, uh, that brought about Operation Castle, when thousands and thousands of missiles were, and, and, and uh, mortars were raining down on the people of the south. Uh, are you seeing, are you sensing, or is the population in southern Israel sensing that we may be on the eve of another escalation? Look, and I know for a fact that just a matter, it's not even, even it's, a question, it's not even a question of if, it's a question of when, when Israel will have to go back into Gaza. When we're dealing with the reality of a Russian roulette reality, depending on luck, coincidences, on miracles, I think it's depending on who's telling the story, is the hardest thing to get across to people. The fact is, in the past week, we had around 20 rock attacks towards Israel with no injuries, no harm done. This gets more or less five seconds of rating, even here in Israel. Only once there's a physical injury, physical damage, only this gets to, to the news broadcast itself. But at the same time, being realistic, it's a matter of time. Israel have to go back into Gaza. You have a lot of contact with international media. Uh, when they come to Stay Road and, and see and listen to the reaction of the residents and people like yourself, what is the reaction of the international media? I can tell you that someone who's been living here for the past uh, six, working and living in Stilwell for the past over six years, hosting foreign press during the Gaza conflict, Operation Kesslet, we had journalists coming all the way down to Zdevot, and they did not even know that there have been rocket attacks before the Gaza war. So it's many people that the fact is that until today, People around the world did not even hear about this rocket reality. When this became, it's the road in the Western Maggot, where exactly became the only region in the entire Western world where we have rockets, missiles being fired and threatening civilian populations. This is the injustice going on, how there's no balance of understanding. Gaza, Hamas controlled Gaza, became a household term around the world. We have an ongoing challenge to speak up, present anything that has to do with our part of the region. I'm proud to say that this is the Rope Media Center this past summer. We've hosted over 2,300 people from abroad to experience firsthand this rocket reality. Noam Bedin with the State Rope Media Center. Thanks as always for coming in. Noam. Thank you very much.